Hello, children. How are you all? I do hope that you're all well. We are loving seeing all the work that you've been doing at home. It is making us really proud to see all your work you've been sending them to us at Seesaw. So keep it coming in. Well done. Now, children, as you know, we are a rights respecting school. Can you remember in November we celebrated World Children's Day and we learnt all about children's rights? And at Christmas time, children, lots of your lovely parents donated money to Crisis at Christmas to help people who were experiencing homelessness. And, you know, it helped provide warmth, comfort and safety and hope to lots and lots of people. Now, last week, children, in the newsletter, we'd learnt all about Article 24, healthcare. Article 24 ensures that every child has the right to the best possible health. Children, I love seeing some of your work and photographs that you sent in on Seesaw. It's made me really proud to see that you've been talking about children's rights at home. That's just Fabulous. Keep them coming in, children. It's brilliant. This week, children, we are thinking about Article 29. Now, Article 29 is all about the goals of education. Education must develop every child's personality, talents and abilities to the full. It must encourage the child's respect for human rights, as well as respect for their parents, their own and other cultures and the environment. This article includes such a lot of things. It reminds us that we are all different and we all have different talents and personalities. Some children are fabulous at handstands, others are brilliant at keep me uppies. This article also reminds us to be respectful raccoons and to respect our grown-ups and others and other families who may be different to ours and other cultures that might be different to ours. This article also reminds us to respect and look after our environment and the world that we are in. Perhaps this week you might get some time to do some activities all about Article 29. Perhaps you can think about a time when you've looked after your own environment. So that could be something like looking after your toys, tidying up your school things, looking after your bedroom, making sure it's all neat and tidy. Or it could be making sure you don't drop any litter when you go out for your walk. It could be helping with the recycling at home. Children, another activity you could do, you could think about a time when you've shown respect to someone in your house. Maybe you've been a really good listener. Maybe you've had fabulous manners. I'd love to hear all about that, children. Or, children, you might want to think about different personalities. Now, Paddington is the champion for children at UNICEF. He is friendly, kind and brave. Perhaps you might want to describe your personality or you might want to think about somebody in your family. Perhaps you could draw a picture and write some describing words around it. You could say, perhaps, I don't know, that someone's kind, funny, generous, happy. I'd love to see those children. And children, remember, everyone has got different talents and abilities. Like we said before, some children are fabulous at cartwheels. Others might be fabulous at spelling or reading or keep me uppies or jogging. Have a think about what things you're really good at and what things you like doing, children. I would love to hear all about it. So, children, we would absolutely love to see any photographs, drawings, videos, all about any of the rights, children, especially 
Article 29, the goals of education, or Article 24, the right to the best possible health. Please send them in to us at Seesaw. It really makes us so proud, children, to see all the work you are doing at home. It really puts a smile on our face, so thank you so much. Now, take care, everybody, and we'll hopefully see you very soon. Bye!